So what do you think, Hannah? Good news? Yeah, it's a really good step and a good starting point. Um, giving parents clear age ratings helps them make informed choices. Um, and it also helps when these work alongside the tools that are already on the platform. So for example, YouTube safe mode that you can activate. Um, these age ratings will now work alongside that yeah, as but well. But Hannah, these are for videos that are made in the UK only. I don't mm. know how many of those I'd look at, whether Katy Perry records in the UK mm. or in LA or wherever it is. But UK only, it's only a bit of a sticking plaster, isn't it? It is a bit of a sticking plaster, that's the reality. And we need to do something much more about this because now we're starting to understand the big implications attached to these type of videos. I I mean, we're seeing videos that our children are seeing which have very violent imagery in it, very sexual, objectifying imagery, you know, a lot of blood and gore. And so we really do have to really clamp down on this and, and, and act like we mean it. But Sonia, you worked in the industry for many, many years. And the fact that we called you a mother earlier on, is that the bit that changed it for you when you became a mum? Yes, it is. Absolutely. No doubt about it. I mean, I was very instrumental in the Spice Girls, for example, who, who let's face it, were shoved at five-year-old girls. And I was involved in media tutoring them. So at that time, before I was a mother, I didn't have that sense of awareness. And it was only by becoming a mother that I started to see, hold on a second, our children are being sexualized from a very young age. And I play a role in that. And so now I have to take back the yeah. reins. But this is everywhere, Hannah. I mean, you could say, well, there are, you know, you give them a classification as parents. We say, no, you can't watch that. But we know the reality of that. Our kids go to other people's houses. Yeah. They're played in arcades on great big screens, you know, all over the place. They're going to see this imagery. So this is not going to stop them completely seeing it. So how do you deal with that? Exactly. And, and no technical solution will like, be ever 100% effective in, in eliminating the risk of children being exposed to inappropriate mm. content online. And that's why the most important thing is for parents to talk to their children about the kind of content they see online, to help them critically evaluate the kind of things they see, to help put a filter in their heads around the sexual content they see, the violent content so, but they I see. Don't, I don't know why I'm looking at sexual content or hearing about it. And it's funny, Son, you talk about the Spice Girls. I remember interviewing the Spice Girls one morning on GMTV and sitting there and talking. And I'm saying, two become one. What's this about? And unfortunately, they told me. Yes, what they was would. About. See, but I <laughs> yes. never, I never I thought you should. Let me tell you, two people yeah, become yeah. Got oh, it. Right, yes. okay, right. Yeah, well, obviously, you're going to get a lot of that kind of double entendres and everything, and that's all fine. But really, what this is to me, the big message is this is sending a message to the music industry and to the artists that we will clamp down on you. We're not allowing this anymore. We're not having this pop porn infiltrating our children's childhood. And so, what will eventually happen is they will be forced to start tailoring do you believe their that? output. Do you believe I, do, I mean, it's a massive. Industry, it's a massive industry. If you look on and YouTube, sex sells. I, it does sex sells, but stop selling it to my five year old or whatever. Yeah, Do you know what I, I mean? I agree. Do you know what? I was sitting on a plane one day and um, I was, we were coming back from someone. I was playing with Jack beside me, and what's his name came on? The one with um, You Know You Want It. Da, 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 da. Blurred Lines. Blurred Robin Lines. Yeah, right, Robin, Robin Thick. So then I start playing yes. the video yes. on my iPad. Yeah. Uh, well, it was fine for me to watch, don't get me wrong. Yeah, but some of the content we're talking about is 18-rated 18, 18 yeah. content yeah. as well. So I think, you know, that, that absolutely is, is very extreme content compared to the and it's not you might have seen I, I suppose it's in some not pop videos. Hannah, just the imagery, is it? Mm. It's the words. And, mm. I mean, I had instances when Jack was quite small and he'd be singing the songs and some of the words in it, I think he doesn't know what he's singing, yes. are yeah. quite sexual too. So is this going to cover both of those, whether it's sexual images or sexual language? It will be based on the BBFC rating, so it's really good that it will align with the usual ratings we see in films. Mm. Um, so obviously imagery can be more kind of startling or graphic but um, it will also cover words as well yeah. as, as it would within a film context as well so it's a good start <laughs>